Well, I just finished building this new box for my solar panel. Took everything that was in, I built an old battery box with switches built into it and an inverter mounted on the side. But this time, I took and I built the, took apart the inverter and built it into this box. So, 12 volt outlet, charging another battery for my video camera right now. We've got 110 volts, 1000 watt inverter in there. That's that outlet. And right now it is going over there to power the laptop. This box has also got a, I think it's a 10, maybe 20 amp hour battery built into it over in this area. And that is what's powering things right now along with the solar panel. This is the solar panel in. These are different terminals for different loads I can hook up to it. This is for a, off the timer. This is a 24 hour DC powered timer. I can program for lights. Um, I usually use it to cycle my electric cooler on and off so it's not running constantly. It doesn't need to. Um, back part here a couple of cooling fans for the power inverter inside um, fuses for the power inverter I just reused these when I took the original inverter apart same with the terminal posts it's the other wire here from this deep cycle battery I don't have it connected right now I'm only using the internal battery and some fuses for these terminals the timer and the cigarette lighter outlet here have fuses built in inside because I needed some higher amperage fuses for those. Um, this is the wire here from the solar panel. Nice and sunny day today for January. And that's pretty much it. On the front here, let me show you gauge for battery. Of course it is beyond 100 now. It's being charged by the panel, solar panel, and the laptop is not drawn enough to draw it down. Selector to select between the external battery and the internal battery, and of course the test button. That turns that on and off. And this is for a voltage gauge that will eventually go there. I got the gauge on order on the internet, so it's on its way. Some switches for, full, for the whole thing. This is the inverter. Turn on and off the internal battery. This overrides a relay inside that if shuts off if the batteries get too low. That way you can get the last little bit of juice in an emergency. Bad switches there for the terminals on the side there. And of course the solar panel charge controller it keeps the batteries from being overcharged. And that's about it. A lot better than the original box was. I made it about as waterproof as I could. Obviously the fans back there kind of allow a place for moisture to get in, but everywhere else I um you know, silicon sealed around the outlet and screws and everything as well as on the top sealed everything pretty good since I'm going to be using this out camping a lot.